Hi guys, Tristan or Beardor here. Um, I'm just going to show you my Rarity Pi setup in my car and just all the connections. It's not actually in the car yet, it's just sort of sitting around just so I can show you the connections where the power comes from, blah 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 blah. Okay, so this is the Rarity Pi there. If you've seen my earlier videos, you will notice it is the power boost in the Rarity Pi onto the 3D printed form, all connected up to the car. The main reason I want that is for this here. The idea is that I wanted a display system for my car's diagnostics so I can see how things work through the car and what's going on. So at the top I've got the two turbos, I've got the boost PSI and I've got the throttle. Now the engine's not running at the moment which is why the turbos are doing nothing and there's no boost or vacuum. But you can see if I push my foot down the throttle, the throttle there fills up. This uh, program I wrote in Python, but this is a JavaScript on a HTML page. It's all worked out pretty well, and so that's all hosted by the Raspberry Pi. <clears throat> now, if you're wondering how it all works, I'll show you that now. The moment it's getting power from my cigarette lighter, which goes into the power boost, which allows the Raspberry Pi to stay active when it's turned off. I have a Wi-Fi antenna to connect back to the home, so I can do updates over the net, and I have this cable here, which goes all the way under here, it connects up to my OBD2 port on the car. Subarus are unique in their OBD2 port, uh, particularly earlier models. Subaru wrote and designed their own software that had a serial connection back to computers outside their system. Uh, I had to reverse engineer how to use that. It's called the SSM protocol. Um, and that took a little bit of while, which is why it wasn't just a plug-and-play solution and I've gone with a Raspberry Pi setup such as this. And here's the keyboard, which also connects wirelessly up to the Raspberry Pi. Eventually, I am going to mount the Raspberry Pi just under here. There's enough space just for it to sit on its side. And then all this wiring will be up underneath the dash and I'll hardwire in a 5-volt regulator instead of using a phone charger. Now I just explained quickly why we have so many gauges, gauges here. This is a Subaru B4. Uh, it's a Liberty B4. In other countries I think it was called the Legacy GT. And I have two turbos. But it's not a parallel twin turbo. It's sequential. I have a small one and a big one. Small one works in low range, big one takes over at the higher range. And what I was never quite sure was happening is which turbo was doing what. So the two gauges here, turbo 1, SM for small, VG for big. This one tells me how much of the wastegate of the turbo is open or closed. And this tells me how much of the wastegate is open or closed on the big one as well. And what this lets me know is how much exhaust gas is flying through one turbo versus the other. And hopefully you'll see when I drive that the little one does a lot of work down low and the big one takes over when I really want some power. Uh, the PSI is just, when it's one side it's boost, when it's the other side it's the vacuum, the line will be in the center. I'm still calibrating it, so don't hold me accountable to that one, guys. Anyway, that's the explanation. I'll take it for a drive now, and hopefully you can see how it works. Please remember, this is early stages, and I'm not quite finished yet. All right, hopefully you guys can see that back there. Let's take it for a run. Definitely need to realign the boost one so I get a better spread because at the moment it doesn't quite line up with what I want it to do. Alright guys, thanks for watching. That's it. Um, 
obviously it works still a few bugs to get out of the system there but hopefully i'll work them out and then maybe the next video it'll be inside the car thanks for watching if you haven't seen the other videos about how i did all this then please check them here and yeah thanks bye